So you'll see shortly this will be coming out of the final rinse stabiliser through this block of wipers and into the drying cabinet. And you'll see it's an apparent image here. So this is now the fully processed neg, it just needs to be dry. Right, so the film is in this cabinet here, this, this cabinet here as you can see coming through. This cabinet is drying the film. If you over dry the film, you induce a curl in the film, which means that it will not sit flat on a telecine gate or in a printing gate, thereby causing potential focus issues when you're trying to transfer or scan it or print it. If you don't dry it quite correctly enough and there's moisture left in the film and it takes up on a wind, then it will adhere to itself on the wind and potentially um, damage the emulsion when you try to unwind it. So this is a mirror image of the other end. Where's the other end? The elevator rises to, to, feed, the, to feed the machine. This actually, this elevator will descend to absorb the film that's coming through. So as you can see, this elevator's falling here. So again, we have a specific amount of time. We have a specific amount of time to make the change here, to take this camera roll off while that elevator's falling. Obviously, the elevator is, cannot hit the bottom. If it gets to the bottom, you've got a major problem, the machine will stop. So the machine never stops and starts while there's film on it. And it's these elevators that work to allow that to happen both ends. So you can see this is actually, a, you will see when we stopped it, but this is actually an apparent image. It's exposed. And it looks fine, so it looks like the laser in the camera was okay. This is the end of that camera roll now coming through. So that will go into that can, which is the can that's come out of the darkroom. So we know exactly that that's, that can's followed it. When we're running all night on production, this is obviously normally the next roll of, of film. We've just processed this one roll right now. Look, this is light industrial. It probably must seem incredibly archaic and Luddite to lots of people. It's light industrial, it's manual, it's machinery, it's chains, it's rollers, it's wipers, it's chemistry. It's very physical, it's very physical, completely the opposite of the digital world.